Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining me once again today on my YouTube channel. Today is October the 5th of 2022. I'd like to share another word with you the Lord has given me that will encourage you in your walk with the Lord. This word today is quite lengthy, and so I won't get into detail of what the Lord is saying in it at this time. But I will say the Lord is encouraging his people to have hope and to press through, believing and trusting in the Lord for him to fulfill his promises to his people and that he is restoring back to us those things the enemy was able to steal from us. This word today is titled Restoration. I hope you will be blessed as you hear it today. I'll begin by reading scripture. Joshua 1 verse 9 Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. This word was given to Joshua from the Lord, encouraging him to be strong and courageous, not to be afraid or to be dismayed, because God was with him. And this promise to Joshua is also a promise to God's people. Isaiah 41 verse 10 Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. This scripture verse as well encourages the people who belong to the Lord, that the Lord is with us, that he will strengthen us, help us, and uphold us. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. God has given us this promise as well. The Lord has a good plan for our lives. He has a hope and a future for us. And so these scripture references speak of God's promises and words of encouragement toward us. I'll begin reading this word. Hope in God. Put your trust in him and you will see his hand move on your behalf. I see your heartache and pain, says the Lord. There is a place where there will be no more pain or sorrow. I am preparing that place. You will soon come into the fullness of my presence, where there will be joy unspeakable. The mountains will be laid low, and the valleys will be raised up, and the way will be made straight. There have been insurmountable roadblocks in your way. There has been an assembly of wickedness trying to hold my people off from entering into what is rightfully theirs. There has been division and slander, but I am turning the tide. I am turning the hearts of the people, and there will be peace and love kindled in the hearts of those around you. The enemy has been working desperately to try to kill, steal, and destroy. He has not been successful, says the Lord. I have apprehended him, and he is unable to take away what belongs to you. In every attempt he has failed, for in this day I am restoring everything that is rightfully yours, says the Lord. The night is soon over, and the day will dawn when the enemy shall be completely 
annihilated from the lives of my people, and strife and jealousy will be no more. I am preparing a people who will walk in humility. Where the love of Christ abounds, there is no room for hatred and envy, but all will unite as one with one purpose. You will see how I pick up the pieces and put them back together. I am working, changing heart attitudes, healing all afflictions and addictions. I will do it. I will not leave those who have been broken in distress, but I will restore them back to the body of Christ. You will see them turn completely around. They will bless and support the work I have ordained in this day. I am building a framework, says the Lord. I have taken the old building down to ruin. There is nothing of the old that can be hoped in. I am freeing my people from the past and bringing them into the river of life to partake of its goodness. You will see the fire that I am igniting within each one. I am bringing them into a fresh and living relationship with myself. I am weighing them out. They are on the scales, and I am balancing them out. Whatever has been lacking is being put into their life. Whatever is not of me is being removed. I will bring the balance. I will bring the stability. I will unite my people in love and affection for one another, for I'm putting a fresh passion within each one and a desire to work together. I am removing the stumbling block and replacing it with a sweet-smelling fragrance. Take heart and do not lose hope, says the Lord. Do not be defeated by negative circumstances that appear to surround, but trust in me. Put your hand in my hand. I will still the waters, I will calm the storm, the winds and waves shall settle, and the glory of the Lord shall rise upon you. Your homes shall fall in line. Not an idle word will be spoken in these places of rest, for the presence of the Lord shall close the mouths of the lions, and only holy speech shall come forth. I will do it, says the Lord. I will pluck up and out every manipulative word before it is even spoken, and it will not come forth. My plan for my people is great and awesome. The love and unity that I am building in this day is great and will not be shaken. It is a strong and powerful unit that I am raising up. Do not be discouraged. I will not fail you. I am faithful and true, and I will do all that I have promised in your life, in the lives of those of your households, and in my church, for they shall be blessed, says the Lord. I am busy orchestrating the workings of my spirit to bring everything in line with my plan. Any false affection shall be removed, for I am building my church in holiness. I will rip away every affection that is ungodly and replace it with the love of Christ, and my people shall walk in holiness. They shall walk the walk of Christ, laying down their lives for the sake of the gospel. They shall be a light to the world, and the world shall see the love of Christ radiating through them. No longer will the flesh rule, for I am eliminating the works of the flesh from the lives of my people. They shall be filled to capacity with my love and grace, and walk in the fullness of Christ." They shall do nothing except what the Father shows them to do. They will live and move and have their being in Christ. I am taking my people in a new direction, says the Lord. I am sending you out. You will go where I send you, for I shall take you there. I will pick you up and put you into the places I have ordered for you. You will see this and marvel and ask, how can this be? 
but you will see me move you from place to place by the power of my spirit. You will not have to make plans. There will be no need for premeditated scheduling, for I will orchestrate the moves, says the Lord. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Nothing, no power on earth is able to hold you back from going forth in the call to reach the nations with the power of my love, with the message of hope, and with the fire of God, for I am building a holy, passionate bride who will be willing to go into the harvest fields and bring multitudes into the kingdom. I will take you into places of darkness, and you will sing forth the praises of God, and the darkness shall flee. My life shall flow forth from you unhindered to take down kingdoms of darkness. I will transport you to these places with no resistance and no roadblocks, says the Lord. Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. I am not a tight-fisted God. I am a God of love and abundance, and I desire to bless those who love me with an abundance of treasure from the storehouses of God. Everything that the enemy has stolen shall be restored, and even more will be given. I am the vine, and you are the branch. As you abide in me, you will move out in great authority to take down the kingdoms of darkness. I am the light of the world, and my light is in you. You carry the light of Christ. I am opening doors of opportunity and taking you out, says the Lord. You have asked for my heart of love and compassion for the lost, and I will give it to you. The love that radiates forth from you is able to bring down every barrier of resistance, even those who appear to be disinterested in what you are saying are listening. They are seeing the light upon you and are being drawn. Do not be discouraged by those who appear not to be receiving. I am taking the word that you speak forth and planting it into their hearts, and it will bear fruit. This word is the planting of the Lord. I have called you to sow the good seed. I will water it and feed it and bring it to fruition, says the Lord. Do not be discouraged, for this is a time like no other. Every word spoken forth by the Spirit of God within you is active and is being sent to do its work in the hearts of the people who hear them. For a time it has seemed as though you have been going upstream and battling through the waters, but I am changing the course of the stream, and you will ride the rapids with great dexterity and go down the river with great speed. For I am speeding up the force of the waters, and they will carry you forward with full force to do the works I have given you to do, and nothing will hinder you from moving forward." I have appointed you to go and bring the good news to the poor. You will rush forward with great speed to accomplish the work I have for you. The joy of the Lord shall be your strength. It shall bubble up continually and spill forth from you. You are chosen vessels, and abundance of giftings will operate through you, and you will move with great ease to bring in an abundant harvest. You have been chosen to minister to the lost. I will open the doors and take you out into the place prepared for the word to be sown. I am uniting those who will enter this work. They will be ready to go. Rejoice at the opportunity to be part of this work, says the Lord. My anointing is upon you. My presence will go with you, and you will never be alone, and you will function in full capacity. 
Drink from the water of life. Drink deeply, for I am equipping you and filling you to overflowing. Rejoice, rejoice, for the day is at hand when you shall burst forth in the power and authority of the risen Lord. Do not think that you are inadequately equipped, says the Lord, that you are unable to do what I am asking you to do. I will do it through you, and you will lack nothing. As we can see in this word today, the Lord is telling us that he is coming to restore back to his people everything the enemy has been able to steal, not only out of our personal lives, out of our households, and out of our churches. The Lord is reminding us that we have been up against insurmountable roadblocks, but that he is taking down these roadblocks in this day. He is stabilizing his people. And, as he mentioned in the previous word sent out, he is joining his people together in love and affection for one another and putting in their hearts a desire to work together in unity because he is building a passionate bride who will go out into the harvest fields radiating the love of Christ to a hurting world. The Lord is encouraging us that the words that we speak do have power. They are effective to bringing in the harvest. That those hearing the word, although they may seem resistant to it, it is doing a work in their hearts to draw them into the kingdom of God. Most of all, in this word today, the Lord is encouraging his people to be courageous, not to be dismayed, but to recognize that the Lord is changing our course. He is equipping us and filling us to overflowing, and we will move forth with great ease to bring in an abundant harvest. I hope this word today will encourage you that God is doing a great work within you, within the body of Christ, and he is reaching into our households as well to bring love and unity in our homes, to bring peace, a place of stability, a place of rest where his love will abide. And that peace and rest and joy will also be experienced within our churches. That he is touching the broken, bringing healing and restoration. Be blessed and encouraged on this day. May the Lord pour out his love upon you. May he minister to all of your needs. And may he strengthen you for the work ahead he has for you. Thank you for listening today. Have a great afternoon, and we'll talk to you again the next time. Bye for now.